Yeah, I mean, you got um, you got white people in Oakland that don't know they're white. They, they never even they look in the mirror. They don't they don't feel it. They don't see it. They don't act. They don't live it. So I always felt like there's a certain thing called culture, and you could put the shoe on the other foot in any culture. And how many black people do you know that never grew up around black people that aren't black? He says, not. It's a lot of them. And they're like white guys, you know? And they, and it, they walk, talk, sleep, and eat it. They marry a white woman. All their friends, they've never been around black. And it's culturally, you bring them, you bring them around black, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel real uncomfortable. And vice versa, you know? It happens in, I, you know, in, in, in Cali, we got a bunch of... Um, White Mexicans and Black Mexicans, little little um, little dudes. Mama was Mexican and, and had a baby by a Black dude. Baby came out looking Black. He grew up in a Mexican neighborhood. Ain't never knew Black people. <laughs> Just all only thing Black about him is the way he looks. And tell you all about it over and over again. You know the white boy with the with the bandana. Yo, Holmes. <laughs> he grew up around Mexicans. He just looked white. You know, that's how it is. But um, it, then you get over into the politics of it. So. V Nasty is Krayshawn's right hand, or really the other way around. Krayshawn is V Nasty's right hand. And they run around here going, nigga, 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 nigga. But the politics is that, okay, you're in East Oakland hanging with a bunch of black dudes that you've been knowing for years, and those are your niggas. And they call you nigga, and you call them nigga, and, and nobody ever had a problem with it. But when you step outside of that neighborhood, that city, that area of everybody who accepts you as that, other people don't know about that shit. And you come to, you come out to New York walking down through Harlem calling, my nigga, it's different. You go down to Houston, Texas with some grimy ass uh, southern boys, you call them my nigga, it's different. They don't know the history of you. So I feel like if you put it in your music, then people gonna call you like a wigger, you're trying to be black and all. They're not gonna know that that's your culture. They're gonna think you're faking it and they're gonna get offended by it. So I think that, you know, it's just, it's like, it's, 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 it's political. And you should be smart enough to know that the world is not gonna accept that from me. So I feel like I accept it from you. If you was around your little homies, that's my little homies, then we at the spot and you're really comfortable and it flies out. Man, 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 man. It just come out, but you gotta be able to know that the world ain't feeling that. And it, it's, it's not, it don't even look good when you're not amongst your people, you know? My homie Funky White, he, he call me my nigga all day. It's like, I ain't tripping. I call him nigga. <laughs> I got a homeboy named Black. Black is from the Bronx. He's been living out in, uh, in Oakland for about the last 20 years. Black, I don't care if you the squarest, tie wearing, whatever ethnicity, I don't care who you are. Black is like short, short. Come be my, come be my Chinese niggas. It's my Chinese niggas, man. They, they cool as fuck. And he like, these niggas crazy. Nigga, who nigga? He, he just called everybody nigga. He like, man, you white niggas is crazy. That's just his word. Everybody, females, everybody. <laughs>